Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how to construct your very own soak away pit. I'm then going to show you, right, the best scenarios that will best fit a soak away pit. So to start with, have a look at this short video that I've made for you, which is entitled How to Construct a Soak Away Pit. Okay, so the first thing you need is a digger. And personally, I prefer either a one and a half ton or a three ton digger. The difference between the two, the guts. There's more guts in the three ton. And personally, I find that if you're digging in clay, such as hard compacted clay, the three ton digger makes the digging the hole so much easier. But look, don't get me wrong. If you've only got a small garden or you're on a budget, then the one and a half ton digger will do you fine. Okay, so coming to the hole itself, typically, um, a soak away pit is dug in the shape of a cube and the size and the depth of the soak away pit will depend on the septic tank you're putting in. Now, most soak away pits are dug to complement um, uh, one of the most popular selling small septic tanks in the UK, which is called a cube septic tank. Here's a picture of it. Now, the cube septic tanks ideal for mobile homes, stables, caravans, uh, etc. Glamping pods and... Um, so if you connect um, and construct um, a soak away pit to complement the cube septic tank, typically you would dig a hole that was literally three foot by three foot by three foot cubed. It's as simple as that. So once you've dug the hole, then you would dig a trench from the outlet pipe of the cube septic tank, and then you would put um, a pipe connecting the septic tank to the soak away pit, just like so. Once you've done that, all you need to do then is fill the soak away pit with gravel. Now, personally, I like using 20 to 30 mil gravel. Um, it just, it's neat, it's easy to work with. Uh, but don't get me wrong, if you've got gravel of any, <laughs> any size gravel, like for example, what they use for um, uh, laying the roads, or you've got scalpings, or you've got old rubble, <laughs> like the builders use, and bricks and bicycles, then in theory, you can fill the hole with that. But if you want to keep everything clean, neat and tidy, and, um, you know, adhere to building regs, then you can't beat 20 to 30 mil shingle. So how does this work then? Well, basically, once the cube septic tank fills up with liquid, the liquid then will then, wastewater will then leave the cube septic tank, come down the outlet pipe here, and it will make its way into the soak away pit. It'll fill up all the spaces in between the gravel and fill the soak away pit up with wastewater. Then it will naturally drain away into the soil that surrounds the soak away pit, like so. So that's why they very rarely go wrong because there's not a lot to go wrong. They're a very, very simple design and construction, but work extremely well. So once you've done that, just cover everything over with topsoil, job done. The whole job will take you, what, a couple of hours at most. All right, so that's how easy it is to construct your very own soak away pit. So I suppose that begs the question now, what scenario will a soak away pit best fit? Well, let's say you're trying to connect a small septic tank, something like the cube septic tank, to one of these scenarios, whether it be a mobile home, a summer house, glamping pods, stable blocks, workshops, caravan sites, etc. Then something like the soak away pit will complement the cube septic tank or this kind of situation beautifully. Why a soak away pit? Well, in the past, the only kind of soak away that people would dig is something called the traditional herringbone system. And what they do is they dig up a massive area like the size of a football field. They'd fill it with shingle, they'd put pipes in, they'd put more shingle in, they'd put membrane in, they'd cover it with soil. It would take like three or four days to do, cost thousands of pounds. Well, a herringbone traditional soak away would be way, way, way overkill for this type of scenario. That is why you'd use a soak away pit. A soak away pit will not only save you thousands and thousands of pounds, right? But it'll save you a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and uh, it's very easy to do. You know, it just take you a couple of hours to do. And that's why they work so well with the cube septic tank or scenarios like this. So I hope this free video has helped you. If you'd like more free help and advice, then just go to septictank.co.uk. UK, you'll see loads more free videos like this, or 
If you go onto YouTube or, or Google, just type in Septic Tank TV and you'll see more of me and you'll get loads more free videos. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Septic Tank TV, you're in with a chance to win a free bucket of septic tank soak oil worms worth 300 pounds. So listen, thank you very much for watching this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.